Hey guys, in this video we're going to be doing a basic smoky eye. This is perfect for a night out if you're going clubbing or to a party. Let's get started. First I'm going to be, oh, where'd this weave come from? <laughs> this is me dancing like an idiot. We're going to first take a gel eyeliner on a concealer brush and put that all over the lid. And we're going to clean off the concealer brush after we're done placing the color and then use the edge of it just to blend it. And we're just going to put this on the lid. Then we're going to take any black eyeshadow. This is Blackout from Urban Decay. And we're going to just pack that all on top of the liner we just put down. You can also use like a black shadow stick or cream shadow too. I just like a gel eyeliner because it stays put longer. And then take a fluffy brush and use, put the black on it and blend it a little into the crease. You're going to try to keep it low though because we don't want the darkest color to be up too high. I also recommend putting on a primer before you do all this. I just forgot to. <laughs> but a primer will definitely help to keep your shadows on longer. And just keep blending. Then we're going to take a really dark brown that was matte wood from the Meet Mad New palette on a t like a pointed crease brush. And we're going to put that right where we put that black color just to like blend it and make like a gradient. <laughs> And just keep blending until you like how it looks. And then I'm going to take an, a lighter brown and put that above that darker brown color. We're basically going for a full on gradient like black black to like a light brow bone color. And that's the key to any smoky eye to just keep blending until you get a nice gradient. Then we're going to take a really soft brown color that is Velvet Revolver from Too Faced and we're going to put that right above the medium brown that we put before. And then just blend, blend the entire eye around so that it looks nice and smoky. And then we're going to take a shimmery brow bone color, like a light champagne color, and put that on the brow bone. And blend it again. And then we're going to prime our face. We're doing our foundation after just to, just to prevent any fallout to mess up our foundation. I'm using the Studio Sculpt Foundation from MAC. This color is way too dark for me, and I actually don't like this foundation very much but this is what I used. The color was I think NC30 which is like way darker in this foundation because NC30 usually matches me so well but I don't know. And then I'm using my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. And now I'm taking my True Match Crayon Concealer I'm gonna it's a lot lighter than the foundation and I'm gonna make like a triangle motion under my eyes down the bridge of my nose and then conceal any other spots and also on my forehead to highlight. And I used a shade a lot lighter just to highlight under the eyes because the dark the dark shadows you definitely need to highlight under so your face doesn't look too dark. <laughs> and I used that same brush to blend all the concealer out. And now I'm taking this Ben Nye um, face powder I think it's the color buff or something and just setting my whole face with it. It's in that little toothpick jar because me and my cousin are sharing it so we split like a really big jar of it and I got it in that. Now I'm taking this kitten eyeshadow from Wet n Wild and I'm gonna put that with a smudger brush under the eye just to do like a little pop of color. And you could use whatever color you want. You can match it with your outfit or whatever color you're feeling that night. I liked the purple. And now I'm going to take this Diamond Lust Revlon eyeshadow because it has a lot of glitter in it. And just to put a little more sparkle on the eyelid, I'm just going to pack that on with a flat shader brush. And now I'm taking that same highlight shade from the brow bone and I'm going to put it on the inner corner of the eye. And now I'm going to put a quick coat of the Jordana Best Lash Extreme because we're going to be putting on some false lashes in this video. And these are the Ardell 202 Double Up Lashes. And I'm just using um, a pair of tweezers and my Duo Lash Adhesive to put them on. It was kind of difficult to film this, but I made it through. <laughs> 
And if you ever find that the ends of your eyelashes aren't sticking down like at first, just hold them down there and they'll eventually stay put. And to contour, I'm going to use my Bahama Mama bronzer from The Bomb and a small like dome-shaped contour brush just to get like a more defined contour. And I'm also going to take that up on the temples and on the sides of the nose. And for blush, I'm using Pincho Peach from MAC because it's like a, it's a sheer tone blush, so I didn't want to be too hard with the blush because the eyes are so dramatic. And I'm blending that, that out really well with my blush brush. And for highlight, I'm using this Prestige Skin Loving Miracles highlight with my fan brush. This is a really nice drugstore highlight. It's a lot like the Balm Mary Luminizer, just a little less pigmented, but I still really like it. And now I'm taking my eyelash curlers and curling my real lashes with the fake lashes, and that's how I get them to blend well. It's just hard to fit all of that lash in, in them. <laughs> and I'm taking this Wet n Wild Bare It All lipstick. I went for a nude lip because the eyes are so dramatic. I tried a pink, but I didn't like the way it looked. So I'm going to do a nude lip gloss with a pinkier gloss. A nude lipstick with a pinkier gloss to kind of make a pinky nude. Yeah, that was kind of a hard lipstick to open. And this is me realizing that I forgot to do my brows. Never forget to do your brows. So I'm using my Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit, like always, and just filling in my brows. You want your brows to look defined for this kind of look. And now to set everything, I'm using this Mayron Barrier Spray. It hurts. It burns your eyeballs. Oh my god. <laughs> and this is the finished look. Hope you like it. And now you're ready to party. Name that movie. If you know what movie I'm talking about, I love you. And this is it, guys. Bye.